Hey there Seeker! Have you ever wanted to learn to read tarot for yourself? Well, your initiation is here. What you've just seen is a sneak peek of my immersive learn tarot journey, The Initiation, where you'll have the opportunity to learn the art of intuitive tarot from me. It's a media rich course guide, it's full of videos, interactive online learning modules, practical activities, self reflection and direct access to me. So I'm going to be launching this out there into the world on the Leo new moon. Uh, I'll be having a new moon unveiling, so I'll be sharing a lot more detail about that coming up. For now, I'll put the playlist to my latest video series up here. And just to let you know, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on TikTok. All the links are down below, including the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself. But for now, I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's go to your reading. Hi there Scorpio, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly intuitive tarot reading for July 5th through to the 11th. Hope you're doing really well Scorpio. Let's check out what may be on the cards for you. And as per usual, getting started here with the Work Your Light Oracle. Then we'll be heading to the Moon Child Tarot for a lead tarot energy before heading up the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot Akashic. For your tarot positions. Why have I got one of these in here guys? It's the hanged man. Well that may or may not resonate for you guys. Some of you might be feeling a bit stuck you know waiting for that final piece of guidance or insight to move forward. We'll see how that resonates with the rest of the message. First one out was soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So sometimes you, if you do ask angel spirits guides for help, keep in mind that often it's people that come into your life with the answer, with the offer. So make sure that you do connect with them and that you don't turn them down. Also, you might be beginning to connect with soul family, which is different from your biological family. You know, it's the, the family that you really feel that you, um, that you connect with at a deeper level that just get you. And warrior woman or warrior man. Have you answered your deepest calling? Yeah, I mean, some of you, uh, this is just a key theme, and, and actually it is kind of similar to the cancer reading, which I've just done, which the hanged man was part of. Um, this is a big theme I'm seeing in the collective. It's like, we've been through a lot in the last couple of years, and people are awakening to the fact that, you know, it's not enough just to have that job that pays the bills or the relationship that's, you know, okay, and we're just fumbling along in. We want to be fulfilled at a deeper level. I'm getting a lot of questions like, what is my purpose? What am I here to do? What is this life, right? And I feel like a lot of us are really wanting to, you know, become deeply happy, spiritually fulfilled, deeply connected, running that vibration of, of love. And then we start the work of unraveling and awakening. This is the start of the spiritual awakening where we sometimes wake up and go, oh my goodness, there's so many things I need to release. And you start that process. And often a couple of years down the track, your life looks completely different. One tarot energy, please. One tarot energy for Scorpio. And for some people, that awakening is a very immediate overnight thing where we literally wake up and go, who am I? This isn't my life. This doesn't feel right. It can be quite disorientating. But... The universe only will give you the experiences that you're ready for. One more shuffle or I will choose. The four of pentacles. Yeah. What do you need to release? What do you need to let go of? What are you holding on to Scorpio that may be a comfort zone for you? that might not be allowing you to move up into your best and, and brightest and highest vibrational version of yourself. This is about fears. Sometimes it's fears, you know, fears of releasing, fears of change, fears of stepping into that calling, holding on to the old because it's a comfort zone. It's what we know. And the ego doesn't like us to, to go into the unknown, right? It tries to keep us safe by keeping us a bit stuck. But that stops us from liberating ourselves and from stepping into our full expression in this lifetime. Scorpio, let's call in the energy of the recent past. Energies leaving, completing or transitioning 
in your life if this is your reading. Here we go, the Four of Wands. Okay, I'm going to see what the clarifier is for that. That is a beautiful, beautiful energy. Hierophant. That is Taurian energy, number five. In the Major Arcana. And the Empress, wow. Number three in the Major Arcana, Ten of Cups at the bottom. Wow, guys, you're definitely being called to run that vibration of love. The Ten of Cups is, for me, one of the highest vibrational energies of the tarot. I feel like there's more to it. Six of Swords, yeah, King of Swords. I knew it, guys. I know that this is you're on the journey to get here, but I feel like uh, you're not there now. Six of Wands. King of Cups, that's your Scorpio energy. Clarifying the Empress, beautiful, beautiful energy. Ten of Pentacles, oh my goodness, you are in Page of Cups. At the bottom of the deck is Akashic Records, yep. You may or may not have heard of that concept, Scorpio, but whenever I see this card, you are dealing with karma, destiny. Your soul has an Akashic Record like a hard drive where... All of the big life lessons that you have journeyed and karmic contracts from your previous lifetimes are held. And also, here's the, 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 the plot twist, the ones that you've signed up for in this life. You've already decided which are going to be, who, who are going to be your big relationships, you know, what are the key lessons you're going to learn, who's going to be my family, who will be my soul family. You've already decided that. And when I see this card, this is the indication that one of those files from your Akashic Record hard drive is being loaded and we are awakening to what we need to do in order to, to get to that deeper calling. That's what I'm seeing with this card, right? Now, you're on the journey. In the recent past, I've got the Four of Wands, Six of Swords and the King of Swords. King of Swords can be an Aquarian energy for some of you. We have the Four of Wands here, which, yes, it can be relationship, marriage, and is a sense of stability, security, and home, but it comes in with the Six of Swords, guys, and this is the energy of transitioning away from that. I feel like there has been a dissolving of security or relationship or home in your life, and that has set you on this awakening pattern of what now? What do I truly want from my life? And you have this unique opportunity, Scorpio, to rebuild a life in alignment with your truth now, King of Swords. You've taken a step back, you're seeing the big picture, and you're now getting ready to make some strategic moves in your life to to really uh, transform it in some way. Some of you might have had, you know, two goes at making this work. I always see the two sets of Three of Swords in this card. Maybe it hasn't worked out twice. You've given it your all, but the cards are saying it's really time for you to, to transition into the new here. In the current of focus energy, Six of Wands, King of Cups, and the Hierophant. So what you don't know here yet, Scorpio, is that this is your victory. <laughs> this point of change is your victory, and it's bringing you into your power Follow your intuition and emotional intelligence, which are key skills for you. Your major arcana here is the Hierophant, and it's number five. Five in tarot is our point of change, and it's the decisions that you make now, Scorpio, that determine what ten that you arrive at. Now, the tens that we want to arrive at are the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles, and that is already in your conscious awareness here. So it's time to make some very good strategic decisions. And one of them was transitioning away from that situation. So I feel like you're already doing it and you're already on path here. It's important with the Hierophant to make your decisions and your forward movements in alignment with your truth, your heart, your values. We are breaking away from the expectations of society, maybe from our parents' expectations, keeping up with the Joneses, so they say. This is time for you to go in your own direction and your own truth here. They call it the midlife crisis, but it happens at, it happens at ages outside of that bracket. It's an awakening to the fact that I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to live my life, and maybe up until now, I'd kind of been living 
the life of others. I've been living the life I was expected to have. Now I want to live the life that I want to have. And I'm loading that file in my Akashic record. I'm moving towards it and that is my victory. And that's when things get juicy. Look, six of wands, sorry, six of wands again. It's just all over it. This, guys, is like just power reading potential. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles, the empress and the page of cups. Some of you are going to get an unexpected offer or opportunity that is going to really change the game for you. It could come through a conversation or a message with somebody or even a child with the page of cups. Whatever this person is offering, it comes out of left field. It's in a different package than you normally expected, but it has so much potential. So don't discredit people that come your way if you're seeking a romantic partner, uh, opportunities that come your way that are a little bit different than what you would normally choose because the cards are saying this has got absolute potential to go all the way. This is associated with your deepest calling. You've got the Empress here and the Empress is about what has been burning in your soul and on your heart. It's time for that to happen. It's time for it to materialize in your life. She wants to birth it through for you. She wants to for you to achieve it. For some of you, that is absolutely the dream of having a family and a beautiful home and just great deep happiness, enough money, enough resources. Some Finding someone you can, can grow old with and create an empire with is really coming through as being the, the top desire here for many of you. The Empress, um, she links to Libra and Taurus as well. So Taurus energy is strong here. And if it's not calling in a Taurus, it's the sense of commitment and trust and security and deep earthly grounding that you're really wanting here and to build a very like beautiful life where you can have a sense of you know luxury and sensuality as well so the empress says it's time to keep taking the moves towards this dream because she's ready to help you manifest it this is such amazing energy here guys so you really have a shot at moving towards this we're going to have to loosen the grip, Four of Pentacles, on, on what's not working for us anymore. I mean, the Four of Pentacles is this energy of like, sometimes when life starts getting too good, we go, hang on a minute, I don't deserve this. How can I sabotage it in some way? And of course, that's not a conscious thing that we do. It's a subconscious belief that we're not deserving. So when life gets good, we just have to say, yep, I deserve to be abundant. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to have my soulmate. Bring it on, universe bring it on and I'm also willing to release what is not in alignment with me so that I can create more space for this to come in. Part of the work of answering your deepest calling, if you don't know what it is, is beginning to release what doesn't feel right, what doesn't feel good, what is not serving you. And that sends such a strong message to the universe of what you're available to. And it really sends the memo that you're ready for the good stuff to come in and come in it is looking like it will if you work that process. Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. I feel complete with that. So do keep in mind as a general reading for the collective. May or may not resonate for you in its entirety. Feel free to drop me a comment, guys. I do read them all when I try to interact with you all over there as well. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what the collective themes are. Wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead, Scorpio. Do take care. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>